Good afternoon, church. On this Earth Day, it's actually the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. And on this day, I'm drawing uh, some wisdom from a booklet, booklet entitled For the Beauty of the Earth by uh, Leah Shade. And I'm coming to you from uh, Sibley State Park. I have decided to spend some time in nature and the outdoors today on this on this glorious on this beautiful beautiful day so to begin with here's a reading from isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 to 12. for you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace the mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Leah writes, when the Bible personifies trees as singing or clapping their hands, we might think of these images simply as poetic metaphors. But in fact, science has found that trees have human, human-like capacities that, that might surprise us. For example, did you know that trees talk to each other? Really, they do. They, they communicate through this underground fungal network of, that connects trees through their root systems. And it's sometimes called, get this, the wood wide web. This com, it's this complex interchange between trees that allows them to share resources and alert each other about paths to communicate with each other and to, to nurture seedlings. So, Knowing this, maybe it's not so far-fetched to imagine that trees worship their creator. Now, turning our attention from how trees benefit from one another to how trees also benefit us as humanity. It's a reading from Revelation chapter 22, verses 1 and 2. On either side of the river is the tree of life with its 12 kinds of fruit producing its fruit each month and the leaves of the tree are the healing of the nations. Leah goes on to ask us this question. This question of have you ever heard of forest therapy? Forest therapy. It was developed in this therapy was developed in Japan and it's the practice of walking in the woods that's called Shinran Yoku or forest bathing, she says. Now science has shown us the physical benefits of walking among the trees, being out in nature. It reduces our anxiety, it boosts our immune system, it lowers our blood pressure, and it can improve our sleep cycles. Imagine that. And the phytochemicals that trees give off that they release to keep themselves healthy are called, if I get this right, phytoncides. And when they breathe these phytoncides into their bodies, into when we breathe them into our bodies, they can trigger the production of special white blood cells that strengthen our body's immune system. So really our health, our health, our body's health is truly dependent on the health of trees and on the ecosystem that support them. So it's no accident. There's, it's no accident that trees are both at the beginning and at the end of our scripture, the beginning and the end of the Bible in both Genesis and Revelation. In Genesis, Adam and Eve go against God's plan, go against God's command by eating of the tree of knowledge. And so then they're banned from the tree of life, they're banned from the garden. And then at the end of scriptures, in Revelation, the trees of life are plentiful. There's a lot of them offering their leaves for the healing of the nations. 
The notion of trees giving life and healing is not just some version for the afterlife, which we often think is the book of Revelation is about. The notion of trees giving life and healing is a vital reality for the health of our planet today. So the next time you're outside, I invite you to say quietly or say it out loud the following prayer or some something similar to it by putting your hand on a tree as if you're blessing it. Now, it might come across as a bit weird and strange to you, but give it a shot. Just like we bless one another in worship oftentimes when we're together in worship, at times we, we, we can also bless trees and nature as well and give our Creator thanks for the gifts that those trees give us. So put your hand on a tree. Feel its bark. Notice the buds that are might be coming, beginning to come out from the branches and acknowledge the life that is in that tree. And say these words or something similar to it. Bless you, tree. Bless you for the home you provide to trees, to birds, to insects, to animals. Bless you for drawing the carbon dioxide from the air. Bless you for your generous gift of oxygen that you give to our lungs. Bless you for doing exactly what God designed, what God created you to do. Amen. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Hope you're enjoying today.